I'm beginning my testing of my program. Test 1A is to test if a user can be registered to the program. This is 1A. Register user. I'm going to enter. I'm now entering test as the name. Subject test as the subject. School test as the school. And email test. Email at test.com as the email test. And password test as a password. I will then submit all of these and click register user and now to confirm this has worked I'll go to my database and select all from users confirm that this user has been added to the database 1B, I will test if all boxes need to be filled to register the user. I will hit register user and I will not fill in all the boxes. I will clear the boxes and just hit register. The try again bring screen bring is popped up. That was test one B. Test two A is a test if a user can log into the system. I will enter admin as the username. Password as admin. I will submit these and click sign in that was test 2a test 2b is to check if a user can log in with one username and a different password as my username I'll put admin and as my password I'll put whores which is a different password I hit sign in. Try and screen popped up. My next test, test three, is to test if the program displays two liquids interacting. I will sign in as a student. and I will run the potassium reaction. Here you can see two liquids interacting with one another. My next test is test four. To test if all three elements react. I'll sign in as a student. I'll run the water, run potassium reaction. Here is the potassium. As you can see, it is it's reacting. It increases its speed and slowly disappears as it is melting. This is the sodium reaction. Here is the sodium. It 
it melts into a ball and slowly melts and increases its speed and this is the lithium reaction This is the lithium. That is the lithium. My next test is test five. To test if a, if a student can sign in without a password. I've clicked the sign in as student option and I'm signed in into the student area. This is test 6A to test if a teacher can save a state to a database. I will sign in with admin admin. I will create a new state. I will check the currently add li added liquids and particles. I will use water, milk and potassium. I will add a new state. I will fill in the height as 600, the width as 600, the colours as 0. Name of the first liquid as water. The name of the second liquid as milk. The name of the element as potassium. And I'll name the state test 5, sorry, test 6A. I'll submit this state. We will then load the database to see if this state has been saved. Test 6A has been saved. 6B. I will test if a state can be saved with incorrect information. I will log in as admin admin. I will create a new state, add new state and add only integers. 0 being my integer of choice. I'll submit a state. I expect this to have not added a state. As you can see no state was added because the information was wrong. Did not mean to close that. Seven A is a test if the username is dependent on the name, subject, and school. To test this, I'll register user. I'll enter James as the name, computing as the subject, and school as Attleboro. I will submit these three, and I will click to update my username. This is the username. Test 7B is to see if you can register without a password. I will fill in the other boxes except for the password box. I'll submit these four and I'll try to register. The try again box appears. Test 8A. I'll test if a password has to be at least eight characters long with a number and symbol.
I will put a password less than eight characters in with a symbol and a number. I'll submit them all. I'll try to register. This. This has registered as a user. I want eight B. Test if a password has to contain a number. I'll make it longer than eight characters with a symbol but no number. Make it longer than eight characters with no number but a symbol. So I'll submit all and hit register. This has been added to the database. 8C. I'll test if a password has to contain a symbol. I'll make it longer than eight characters with a number but no symbol. I'll submit all and hit register user. This has been added to the database. Test 9 is a test if a simple menu is displayed on run. A simple menu is displayed. Test 10. This is a test if users have the ability to edit liquid values. I will log in as a teacher with admin admin. I will create new state. Add new liquid. And I can input new liquid values. Test 11 is a test if reaction information is displayed. I'll sign in as a student. I'll display potassium reaction information. Water and sodium reaction information. Lithium water reaction information. That concludes my tests.